chicken coop project, first of all, I tried to make everything out of recycled materials. So I would say it's 80, 90% recycled stuff. And it started with this door, this uh, back door, I guess you will. This was a back door of a property that the lady didn't like it because it was all glass and metal exterior. And she just wanted more of a solid door that people couldn't see in. So I took the door off for her and uh, she wanted me to take it to the dump. It was too nice of a door. So I thought I'll keep it. I kept it for five or six years. And then when I moved to this property, I decided to make a chicken coop. Now granted, I've never made a chicken coop before. But I, in my research, it was like chickens like the morning light, they like light, so I thought this would be a perfect door. So that's why the chicken would end to be as tall as it is. So this is the door I added in, or that I, I traced everything around. So I laid the door in my driveway, and I just drew a, the shape that I kind of wanted, and then I just started building it. Probably should have cleaned it before this, but anyway, so the inside, the flooring is leftover wood floor. House and they had a bunch of leftover wood floor, so I put the leftover wood floor there. The contraption, I don't know if you can see the contraption for the um, chicken door is from a, a, a garage door, it's a garage door pulley. And then the cable on it is a, one of those doggy cables to tie your dog up. And then I just started building all around it and I made my egg box and I designed the size for two sheets of 4 by 8 plywood because I didn't want to have to do any math. So I just, two sheets of plywood, that's how big the chicken coop's gonna be. And then of course it had to be fairly tall because of this door. And then I have found that vent. I found the vent outside. And then the two pieces of glass were leftover shelving from a kitchen remodel. And I saved those and I used those. And all the rest of it, some of the OSB board I had to buy, but most of it was just left over from, from other projects. And, uh, and that's pretty much the inside. So I would tell people how to build it, but there's a lot of really good YouTube videos on how to build chicken coops. I'm just giving people maybe some di design ideas. Um, and I just, I just would have a couple stouts in the morning and then start, start building and seeing what happens. On this side, I figured if I ever needed to clean the coop, I could just open up this, and I made it wheelbarrow height, so my wheelbarrow sits right here, so I can just take stuff and just scoop it right into my wheelbarrow and move it over to my garden. So that's so this is one full door, and then um, the roof is all fence boards, just redwood fence boards. When fences blow down, usually the four by four posts rot out. And, but the boards are still good, so these are all just supposed to go to the dump. All of this is leftover fence boards that are supposed to go to the dump. This was a handle I found out in the parking lot at Home Depot that somebody was going to throw away. Um, so, um, this I bought, but I was going to use it for something else. It wasn't the right size, so I was just using it for to secure this. The watering system I have, I didn't purchase this. Uh, I had some, another one that somebody gave me, but it was always leaking. So then I just put PVC. And so when I want to fill up the watering cups, I can just turn this on. But now I have this on always, and then I have a, a direct water line that fills up the tank. So when I want to fill up the water, I just turn on the spigot over there, and it fills this up, and it fills up the water. So it's, it's really, really simple. I tried using those watering nipple things, but they seem to get clogged all the time because I use well water, so these cups seem to work better. Then we can go around to the other side and I'll show you. Alright, so then this is the only really spot I can put this chicken coop. So the first thing I thought was I want to make put the egg box or the nesting box on the side that's convenient for me. And since this little walkway was already here, I put it on this side. That's why I didn't put it on the other side. Um, so the nesting box, the egg box is here. And then I realized when I, after I put the roof in that if it rains, I didn't want water getting on the lid and warping out the lid. So I found this little piece of plastic. This is like PVC black white. I just cut a notch at the top of it and knew that when water comes down, it'll just flow out the side. So that's my rain gutter if you will. And once again these are all leftover fence boards. 
that was supposed to go to the dump, so I think I saved the space in the dump for someone else. Um, the windows, once again, are from uh, leftover uh, shelving for a kitchen. And then I realized when I was building it that if I ever needed to get up there for whatever reason, I, it would be really difficult. So I made this, this top, this panel, I can just lift the panel up and move it over so I can put the ladder inside and get up top. So that, that makes it easier for me if I ever have to clean air, anything or repair anything. That chicken was a broken-legged chicken or rooster, I guess. That was supposed to go to the dump. I just put it up there. And, uh, that round yellow, the sun rays was one of those things that people hang on their fence, but the center of it was cracked and they were gonna throw it up there and make a Air, air vent window up there, and um, and the rest is just a little square chicken run. So I have to say it looks pretty neat when the lights are all on and it's all lit up. Chickens don't seem to mind. And that's my recycled chicken coop, if you will. So I'd say 80% of it or so is recycled stuff, and uh, no plans. So. If you guys have any questions, you can ask me, but I don't have a set of plans for it. Um, don't really have any pictures on how I built it. I just grabbed recycled stuff and started building. I probably overbuilt the inside because I'm not, you know, just a, just a regular guy. So, so there you go. So let me know if you guys have any questions.